it's my holy grail card until i can afford one better i'm going to cherish this one so uh let's unpack it and see what we got what's up i'm tim sinclair i'm the public address voice of the chicago bulls chicago bears chicago fire nba all-star weekend three times and nba 2k i was in the hobby a long time ago as a kid fell out for years and years and now that my two boys are back in the hobby, so am I. This is Cardi in the USA. All of us have a holy grail card or cards, right? That we desperately want to get, that we've saved up for, that one day we hope we can afford. And today I get to open at least one of mine. I would say this is tops on my list and it needs some explanation because I've been a Bulls fan most of my entire life. I actually grew up in Detroit, Michigan. So I was a Pistons fan, but then we moved to Illinois right during the heights of the Michael Jordan years. And I got to see him play in person twice as a kid, once in 86 or seven. It was at the Pontiac Silverdome just outside Detroit and Jordan dropped 60 in a game against the Pistons. And then again in 95 or 96, shortly after the United Center opened, I got to see him play there. And obviously I consider him to be the greatest of all time. We can have our debates about who was the best of their eras, but for my era of growing up, it was absolutely Michael Jordan. And you may instantly be thinking, well, this is probably going to be the Jordan rookie. It's not. And a couple of reasons for that. One, those are really expensive, especially in any sort of a good grade. But uh, while I love the Jordan rookie and do hope to have one one day, the card today that I'm about to open to me is actually more special. And a couple of reasons for that. One, it is uh, from right before his rookie year. It's actually a 1985, not a 1986. And it's the pose that Nike used for the Jordan shoes. And we all know the uh, Jordan logo with him midair. And I found this on eBay. It's not in the greatest of condition, but it's my Holy Grail card. Until I can afford one better, I'm going to cherish this one. So uh, let's unpack it and see what we got. I went for a BGS slabbed version. And it's a 5.5. Now, if you look closely at the numbers, you can see we've got really good centering, 9.5. Corners aren't bad, seven. Edges are a five, five. It's the surface that brought it down. And you can see in that shot why. Right there, there's a little bit of something on the edge of that card. But overall, it looks really good. And it's a big slab too. This isn't a traditional card. It's not a normal size. This is uh, oversized, so it's not going to fit in anything great in terms of what I would typically keep cards in. But that pose right there is the one you see on all the shoes. With the Chicago skyline in the background, my house isn't too far from there. And I am so excited to have this one in the collection. So there you have it my holy grail card uh, it's not my last one of course i have others that i would like to have it would include probably a brady rookie eventually one of the 86 jordan rookies yes that's on the list but uh, it seems a long way off at this point so this nike promotional card from 1985 checks off number one on uh, tim's most coveted cards list lots more content still to come don't forget to subscribe to comment to share and uh, look forward to seeing you next time on Cardi in the USA.